Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about Hashimoto thyroiditis on ultrasound. Hashimoto thyroiditis, which is also known as chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis, is a common cause of hypothyroidism. These specific lab tests are useful in diagnosing Hashimoto thyroiditis. The lab test findings and ultrasound findings are used together in diagnosis. The first test is thyroid stimulating hormone TSH. It is elevated in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The next test is free T4, free thyroxine. It may be normal in early stages or subclinical hypothyroidism, but it is often low when hypothyroidism develops. The free T3 is less commonly affected but may be low in Hashimoto thyroiditis. These are autoimmune markers, antithyroid peroxidase antibodies, anti TPO are elevated in over 90% of Hashimoto thyroiditis patients. Antithyroglobulin antibodies are usually elevated in Hashimoto's but are less specific and sensitive than anti-TPO. Thyrotropin receptor antibodies are usually negative in Hashimoto thyroiditis but are tested if there is suspicion of overlapping Graves' disease. Additional lab tests include ESR and CRP. ESR may be elevated due to inflammation. CRP is usually normal but may be elevated in some cases. We will compare the normal thyroid ultrasound image with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This is the image of a normal thyroid in transverse plane. The normal isthmus depth is usually less than 0.5 cm. The AP measurement of each lobe is usually less than 2 cm and the length of each lobe is between 4 to 7 cm approximately and the width of each lobe is approximately 2.5 cm. In this image, the patient had acute diffuse Hashimoto thyroiditis. In such cases, there is diffuse enlargement of the thyroid gland. The gland will be enlarged and the whole gland will have a heterogeneous appearance. You can see a difference in appearance of the thyroid. The echo texture is heterogeneous. This is another case of Hashimoto's thyroiditis in acute stage. There is a heterogeneous appearance of the entire gland and you can see numerous hypoechoic nodules inside the thyroid. These are the hypoechoic nodules. This type of appearance is termed giraffe pattern because it resembles the pattern of a giraffe's hide. This image is focused on the right lobe of the thyroid. Numerous hypoechoic nodules are present and the thyroid lobe has a heterogeneous appearance. This type of appearance along with the abnormal lab tests as shown earlier indicate Hashimoto thyroiditis. This is a thyroid lobe in longitudinal plane. Normally, it has a homogeneous hyperechoic appearance. But in this case, this thyroid lobe has a heterogeneous appearance and it is filled with various hypoechoic nodules. The thyroid was enlarged as well. It shows a giraffe pattern. This was also a case of acute diffuse Hashimoto thyroiditis. In this image, the gland is enlarged and has hypoechoic nodules. These are the hypoechoic nodules. This was also a case of Hashimoto thyroiditis. 
This is a normal thyroid image with color Doppler applied. In normal cases, we will not see any significant vascularity within the thyroid. Only a few Doppler signals are seen. In Hashimoto thyroiditis, in acute stages, we will find diffuse hypervascularity on color Doppler. This increased vascularity is called thyroid inferno. Many Doppler signals are seen. The thyroid appears enlarged and heterogeneous. This is a normal color Doppler image of the thyroid. In longitudinal plane, we see a few Doppler signals within the thyroid, whereas in this case of Hashimoto thyroiditis, thyroid inferno is noted. We see many color Doppler signals within the thyroid, indicating increased vascularity. This is another case showing hypervascularity or thyroid inferno in a case of Hashimoto thyroiditis. You can also see hypoechoic nodules and the gland appears enlarged. In some cases, along with a hypoechoic heterogeneous appearance of the thyroid, you will find hyperechoic linear strands. These are seen in some cases of Hashimoto thyroiditis. This is another image showing hyperechoic linear strands within the thyroid. In a case of Hashimoto thyroiditis, numerous hypoechoic nodules are also present. In chronic cases of Hashimoto thyroiditis, the thyroid shrinks in size and has a heterogeneous appearance. The hyperechoic linear strands are more prominent in chronic stages. This is a longitudinal view and you can see various hyperechoic strands in a chronic case of Hashimoto thyroiditis. The size of the thyroid decreases and the gland may become avascular on color Doppler. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.